We are Heroes Hope. We are a Tulsa-based veteran-led organization that is serving the homeless veteran community right here in our city. Most of the veterans that we work with, their homelessness stems from an issue with post-traumatic stress or combat-related injury of some sort. And so we offer no red tape housing. What that means is I can meet a veteran today and it does not matter what their struggle is or what led to their homelessness. We can offer them safe housing that is free to them right now and work with them over the course of the next 18 months to lead them back towards self-sustainability. So the VA and some local government organizations in the state of Oklahoma calculate that there are over 250 veterans living on the streets of the Tulsa metro area. And so our goal as an organization is to eliminate that 250. And so we work in two ways. The first is offering those housing resources to the veterans that are currently experiencing homelessness. But the other side of that is in order to stop that number from growing is we have to address the issue before it becomes an issue. And that's where we also work with veterans battling post-traumatic stress, combat-related depression, or some other military-related injury. And one of the biggest things we're working on right now in the Tulsa area is building a tiny home community of ADA accessible houses that would offer a safe individual space for every single one of these veterans we're working with. So in that 18 months, they have a place that is their own with a locking door where they feel safe and secure, but also knowing that they feel needed and known as we work alongside them to lead towards restoration. A new Land Rover Defender would meet needs in two different ways. The first, we rely a lot on volunteer transportation or paid third-party transportation when working with a veteran. So that's from the moment we meet them and pick them up all the way through medical appointments, mental health services, going to purchase groceries and the things that they need. So having a vehicle that is our own would alleviate that need to rely on third-party organizations, but would also give us a vehicle 24-7 to be able to provide transportation services for the veterans we serve. First off, the Land Rover Defender it's not just a sweet car, it's a spacious car. And when we're working with multiple veterans, it's a lot of appointments, grocery shopping, all these needs that can be all over the place. And being able to have three or four veterans at a time going out and doing that increases the impact and reduces the amount of time that we need to spend meeting each of those individual needs. The other cool part of that is both of the housing facilities we're working on right now are in wooded off-road areas. They've got gravel or dirt roads. So the off-road capabilities makes transportation when the weather's not great a whole lot better. But the other side of that is the reason we chose those areas is we like to take veterans out for outdoor activities because connecting with nature, being out in the sun can really help the post-traumatic stress cycle. And so the off-road capabilities of this vehicle allows us to continue to do that even better for a longer period of time.